Hello, I'm Mishpucha. It's Courtney, America's Jewish Mother. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm here today uh, with a June TBR slash pile of possibilities. Um, I realize I've not really been making very many videos lately. Uh, May was a very busy month. The first week I was wrapping up my spring semester, which involved just a ton of grading. And then I came back to North Carolina and my mom kind of had a bunch of errands and things that she wanted us to get done. So then we spent some time doing that. I took about a week where I just rested and didn't really do much of anything. And then uh, for the past week up until yesterday, I've actually been in New York, uh, New York City, visiting some old friends of mine um, whom I hadn't seen since before the pandemic in summer of 2019. So that was really nice to go see them. and. Um, have a little vacation, just spend some time elsewhere, eat lots of good food, walk lots of places, see lots of interesting things, so, um, so that was fun. So now I'm ready to get back to more regular booktube content, uh, starting with this. So, uh, June is Pride Month. Hooray! So happy Pride, everybody. Um, so there will be some Pride-themed reading in my, uh, TBR slash POP. Um, I also was selected as a judge for the semifinals round of the Booktube Prize in nonfiction, so um, I will be reading, I'll be attempting to read three of those books in the month of June. Thankfully, one of the six books in my round, or in my group, I've already read in a previous round, um, so I only have five instead of six, um, but I am still going to try to get three of those read uh, during the month of June, so one of them I've actually already started which is American Baby by Gabrielle Glazer, um, and I can't tell you anything about it, but I am working on uh, a, a vlog, a reading vlog as I go along, um, but I have already started this one and obviously will finish it sometime this month. Um, I also have a couple of carryovers from the month of May. Uh, the first one is Erica Lee's The Making of Asian America, a history which I had started in May as part of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, but did not manage to finish because it's a quite quite long audiobook and then just with everything else I was I was doing. Um, but right now I'm about halfway or a little over halfway through that, so I anticipate finishing that up uh, in the month of June. I also have a buddy read with Cena of Beating Around the Books and Mark Nash of Robert Coover's The Public Burning. We are about three quarters of the way through this and uh, I'm set to finish this up in the next few days so I'll be finishing that in June as well. Um, I think those are all of the carryover books. Um, so in terms of other buddy reads I will be doing in June, uh, Britta Bowler and I are planning to read Plum Bun by Jesse Redmond Fawcett. Um, this is a Harlem Renaissance era novel, um, and I've heard of Jessie Redmond Fawcett, but I never read anything by her, so I'm excited to read this book and uh, see what, what the deal is with it. It seems like it's about, it's a story of racial passing, which that phenomenon has always interested me for some reason, um, but yeah, so definitely interested to, to read this and just to learn more about Jesse Redman Fawcett um, as a writer. So this is about a woman who uh, can pass as white and moves to New York to escape the racism that she believes is the only obstacle to her success in life. Um, she changes her name and starts living as a white woman, um, but soon discovers that, you know, passing is not just the only thing that she has to, to contend with. So I'm definitely excited to read this. Um, and I have, I have another buddy read in June as well. Sorry, I'm knocking everything over here. Um, and that is James Baldwin's Another Country. So Pride Month themed reading. Very appropriate. Um, so I'll be doing this as a buddy read with Mark Nash and Cena of Beating Around the Books and Roz of Scally Dandling about the books. Um, so this says it's set in Greenwich Village, Harlem, and France, and Another Country is a novel of passions, sexual, racial, political, and artistic, um, that depicts men and women, blacks and whites, stripped of their massive gender and race by love and hatred at their most elemental and sublime. So that doesn't really tell me too much, but it's by James Baldwin. Do I really need to know anything else? I don't think so. So I'm definitely excited to read this one as well. Um, in terms of my own personal pro reading projects that I've been working on this year, I have a reread project, so for that I've picked out a slim little 
poetry volume to reread this month by Paul Muldoon called Horse Latitudes. Um, definitely looking forward to revisiting this as I remember quite liking some of the poems in here. Um, I also have a uh, couple other Pride Month themed books that I would like to get to. One is Tallulah, The Life and Times of a Lady, La Leading Lady by Joel Lomenthal. So this is about my beloved Tallulah Bankhead. <laughs> And pretty much every summer for the past couple of years, I have decided to read a Tallulah Bankhead themed book just for fun and whimsy and also appropriate to Pride because she herself was bisexual. Um, so this is basically just a biography of her, of her life and an overview of all of the, you know, films, plays, all of that kind of stuff that she was in. Um, and it's a little on the hefty side, but hopefully I'll, I'll manage to get through it. Um, and then the last Pride Month themed book that I'm planning to read is Life as a Unicorn by Amru al Qadi, which is about a Muslim drag queen. Um, and I've heard several other people speak quite highly of this book. This was gifted to me last year by Lindsay of Lindsay's Book Life and our Holiday Book Exchange. Um, so yeah, I'm honestly surprised that I managed to put off reading it until June, but no more. This is definitely one that, that, that I'm look, looking forward to getting to. Um, and I also have two other books for the Booktube Prize that I'm planning on reading sometime in June, and I kind of have an idea of which two other books those might be, but it also depends on whether I get holds in from the library um, or not. So two other booktube prize books kind of tbd um so that's that's everything that is on my tbr slash pile of possibilities for the month of june um let me know what you're planning to read in june especially if you're going to do any pride month reading i would love to hear about that let me know if you have thoughts about any of these books that i've mentioned leave a comment down below thank you for watching this i hope everyone is staying healthy and well i hope you're doing good reading whatever you're reading and until next time would it kill you to call your mother?